guys, Steven here back with another video and since it's almost Halloween, I thought I'd make a video on how to create a horror film look using Filmora. So Filmora is a video editor if you guys didn't know. I recommended it in a number of my previous videos I've done in the past. I'll link it in the description for you guys and I'll list everything else you need to know in the description as well. If we get 500 likes on this video in celebration for Halloween, that'd be great. Uh, with that being said, let's just get into the video. The first thing you want to do is go on to Filmora. You want to choose the aspect ratio and select 16 by 9 and make sure you're in full feature mode. The next thing you want to do is import your footage. I have footage of New York City. Obviously, if you had a bed warehouse or a forest, it would look a lot scarier. But I don't have that because I don't have footage. So I got some on YouTube and I couldn't find any like forest uh, stock footage. So I had to use New York City stock footage. You want to remove any of the audio attached. You can do that by right clicking on it, press audio to detach and delete the audio. The next thing you want to do is add crop lines. Crop lines are like basically in every movie adds a cinematic effect. So, so that's just a given. You should do that on all your films and all your uh, movies and stuff like that that you're planning on creating. The next thing you want to do is color grade the footage. So Filmora doesn't have advanced color grading software, but I'm going to work with what I have. So what you want to do is double click on the footage. You want to lower the saturation, lower the contrast just a little bit and lower the brightness. And right there, right off the bat, it looks a lot better just because it's darker. It gives that scary effect. It gives like, it gives a nighttime effect. If you know what I mean, because night equals dark, if you know what I mean. And by the way, I'm not sponsored by stockfootage.com. I just needed a video to edit. So I had to choose one of their videos because they had stock footage. Next thing you want to do is add music. So there's a bunch of music that you can choose from that is actually built into the editor and specified as Halloween music. So I'm going to add Epic Suspense. I'm going to move it to the beginning, right click, press edit, fade in the audio and fade out the audio. And then I'm going to add some of the sound effects, female scream, maybe uh, shutter sound, breathing scared and frights and breath. And I just made it a lot more scary. Just adding sound effects. Music creates the atmosphere. It's either like really happy music or really sad music and really like it makes you emotional. Music gives you the feeling of the video. So if you press play here, <gasps> right now it sounds more like a superhero movie. I know that that's because out of the context of the video, it is a city video. If it was perhaps maybe like a video in like a forest, it'd be a lot more scary and those sound effects would make sense, but I couldn't find any of that footage like I said. So I just have to work with what I have. So it may not be suitable with this footage, but it may be suitable with whatever you come up with. And yeah, so next we're gonna add the title. So you can add a glow effect or you can add like a walking dead effect here. The glow text is actually from Blair Witch. That's actually really cool. It's actually a really good film. Or you can add a Walking Dead. Most of you know what Walking Dead is. And a new season just released, so that's really cool. But I'm gonna add the Blair Witch effect. It's it's a glow effect that's really cool in my opinion. To edit the text, all you wanna do is double click on it. And then you wanna just highlight it here. So I'm gonna press Control A and delete it all. Or you can just backspace, obviously. And like do that, but that takes too much time. I'm just actually gonna keep it the same because Happy Halloween is basically what this video is about. It's like, Happy Halloween, you know, be safe and stuff, so. We're going to press OK. And if you play from that point, it kind of fades in and fades out, which is cool effect. There's like a bunch of other ones, obviously. There's this retro Halloween one and there's also Walking Dead. I find Walking Dead a lot more appealing. It just looks cool with that like broken text and stuff. But I'm just using this text in my case. Next thing you want to do is apply filters. Filters are very important. There's actually filters for Halloween once again. Uh, Filmora is on point with this type of stuff. They have like a bunch of effects. They even have an effect store if you guys want to check that out. I'm going to add black vintage. So let's just make the entire thing black vintage. And that already makes it a little bit darker and a little more focused on what's in the middle of the frame. I'm also going to add glitch distortion. So you, you ever see, you ever see those videos where like someone grabs your camera and it starts glitching out. You can do that. So like. You obviously don't want to do that for the entire video or that really hurts your head, but you can do that for portions of your video. You can also go to like nightlife because it's supposed to be night and supposed to be dark and stuff like that. I'm not going to do that because I don't like any of the colors. Like I don't like red in this or green in this and it just gives too much color. So that doesn't really fit the theme I'm trying to set here. And now I'm going to go to overlays. Overlays really set the tone. So overlays, there's actually sci-fi symbols. 
so sci-fi symbols actually make it like crazy like like this is type of stuff you see in like intros of tv shows that like maybe like uh prison break and, and the walking dead they have these type of things these symbols and the symbols are a little bit too like visible so i'm gonna lower the opacity here so you want to double click on it and lower the alpha so like around there that would be good and press ok and you just want to start it from there I don't know it just looks cool i don't know why maybe because there's symbols and there's like skeletons and stuff but that gives a really cool effect you can also do my all-time favorite thing and add a viewfinder so you can add the camcorder effect that everyone does or maybe if you're like pretending to shoot someone with a gun or a sniper like someone's aiming at that person you can do that or night vision night vision is really cool as well maybe like maybe you're filming someone from behind them and you can like add this so like um as if you were like a monster behind them but i'm gonna add camcorder that's my favorite and here, if you press play, maybe that's a security camera or maybe someone's filming a video that just adds a really cool effect. The last thing I'm going to do is add TV static. And you know what TV static is. It's like, it just adds another cool effect. It's similar to the filter that I applied before, that uh, glitch effect, but I'm just going to add it right here and I'm going to press play. And once you're done with that and you're done with your video, you want to press export and you want to select the file destination and that's about it. Yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did hit that thumbs up button, happy Halloween to all of you guys celebrating. That's the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.